I'm back again. This time I'm on my way out to the black grouse lecking site to set up my blind and leave some of my gear so I don't have to carry everything uh, on the night when I'm going to stay over in the blind. And also so that the black grouse can get used to the blind being there and not being disturbed by my presence. I hope I can get there before the sun sets so I don't have to work in complete darkness. This is really heavy, <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm almost at the place where I want to set, set up my blind. It's a really beautiful night. I'm almost finished with the tent soon, but it's getting darker by the minute, so I have to try to be quick about it. Because it's not that easy to set up the blind when it's totally dark. Now I'm on my way back, I set up my blind and I've left some of the stuff I need for, for when I come here to spend the night. It's getting really, really dark now, so I hope I can find my way back through the forest. I have no idea where I am, but I... <laughs> I hope to soon get to a place where I can recognize some of the characteristics of the landscape. Well, I found my way back. Okay, so now it's time for the big night. I have packed all my gear and I am heading out to the place where the blind is located. The weather is really nice right now, it's very sunny and I hope it will stay clear through the night all the way till tomorrow morning.
I haven't heard any black grouse yet, but there's, there are some birds that I cannot really identify. Um, I'm just going to try to have a quick sandwich and then get to bed really early. It's about 9 p.m., but um, it's usually very, very difficult going to sleep like this. And, and I've got to get up very early, probably around 4 a.m. Time for my sandwich before I go to bed. I've heard a few grouse a bit further away, so at least they're, they are around here somewhere. I've put on a lot more clothes now. I've got about four layers of wool, so I should be okay. Time to go to sleep now. See you in the morning. There's a bit too much wind uh, for the grouse to be really active and also there's a flock of seagulls uh, that just came in here disturbing. Looks like there might be some fighting after all. Um, it's kind of hard keeping track of all directions here. Sometimes they're in front of the blind and sometimes they are on the complete opposite side so and I can't change the position of the camera and the lens too fast because then I will scare them. I'm just lying here listening to to the grouse. It's very relaxing.
conditions were very windy now in the morning but the early part of the morning was really good the experience of just waking up to to the grouse slowly moving closer and closer to the blind is well it's the best alarm clock anyone can wish for so I'm very happy with this morning I'm just gonna pack up all my gear now and head back to the car Well, I'm getting my exercise for today, at least. I've entered the forest now, so it's even harder to walk here than, than out in the marsh or bog area. Uh, but soon I will be at the forest road and then it will be easier to walk. Another great morning in the blind. Um, this time I actually managed to get some more sleep. Um, it wasn't as cold as the previous times I've been here. So that helped a lot. I'm going to go through the photos and the videos from today to see what I managed to capture. I didn't see any female grouse today and I don't know if that's a sign of being late in the season or if it's still too early in the season so we'll see maybe I'll give it another try otherwise I'll see you next time